everybody and welcome back to the MES, the Minecraft event space. Today we're going to do our Minecraft Mayhem 23 predictions and also going through a team. So, let's go through the teams now, shall we? First, with the red radishes, we have Toph, Mr. Cat, Garlic, and Pixel Craftian. This is a pretty good team, all things considered. It was the first team announced. Pretty solid. Toph is a very high-end player. Misty is pretty good as well, can be pretty good. I have no idea about Kyle's skill level. I don't think Kyle's an event player, so to speak. Uh, Pixel Craftian is pretty low-end. But yeah, it's a pretty balanced team, all things considered. But if you look at the rest of the teams, oh my goodness. Team, we have the Lime Lemons. We have the GOATs, the winners of MCC Rising 2. Nominal Gravy, Waybox, Nomad, and Chaos Corpse. Uh, honest, the goats, the goats, the absolute goats they are. Uh, it'd be nice to see them actually play in an event that isn't MCC Rising as a team and see how they do. Um, but looking at the rest of the roster, very, very strong. So we will see. We will see how they do, but the goats regardless. Next up, we have the Pink Peaches, which is my team. Savage Lord, Masky Z, me, and Phase Ray. I love this team! <laughs> Honestly, dude, to be team with three of some of my greatest friends is genuinely an honor, and I'm really looking forward to Mayhem um, and playing this team. It's pretty, it's pretty strong as well, to be fair. It's quite a strong team. Me and Maskin have played. Phase is pretty average and Savage is pretty high average. But honestly, with that team and the chemistry, we could go, we could go quite far. But I'm very happy and looking forward to it. We have the Aqua Apples. You have Cloud, Morgan, Captain AJX, and Iljone. Uh, one of the weaker teams of the event, but still very strong because you have Cloud and Morgan, who are two very good players. AJX is a low-end player. I'm not sure about Iljone, but I don't think they are. One of the highest players, but again, a very stacked team and a very good team at that. And yeah, Cyan Cucumbers, you have Landon Legends, Kel Awesome, Anthos, and Space Brownies. Obviously, a very silly team, uh, but the duo of Landon and Kel is ridiculously strong because Landon's average for Mayhem is one of the strongest, and Kel Awesome is Kel Awesome. So, obviously, Anthos and Space are both quite low end players, but with that team and that duo being so strong, it'd be interesting to see how they do in the event. On Golden Grapefruit, we have Kalen, Radu. DGC and Ava JC. Yeah! Obviously, Kalen Radoon's the goats themselves. Kalen, the parkour pro himself. Ava and DGC. I know Ava's a low end player. I don't know about DGC's skill level, but it does look like a pretty decent team. It just depends how Kalen and Radoon's lead on that team. And yeah, good team regardless, though. Have the blueberries. You have Silver Runs, Lackey, Nukari, and President Poundcake. Holy shit. <laughs> that team is ridiculously strong. Because here's the thing. Silver Runs and Pound Cake are part of the MCSR community. And Silver's a very good player. Pound Cake, I actually don't know their skill level, but I assume they're pretty good. Uh, but they're not event players. But even then, you've got Lackey and Nukri, two very high level, high, very good players in, in Minecraft events anyway. So that's a very, very strong team. And it'd be very, uh, honestly, that team could run away with it or finish quite low, but look, we'll see. It's a very, very strong team, one of the strongest. And you have finally the Mustard Mangoes. You have Boostver, Kyandres, uh, Insane Orbits, and Potato Pie. Uh, again, a very strong team. Two duos mixed together to make one team. Boostfoot and Andres did duo, and then Orbits and Potato Pie are a duo. Um, Booster and Andres is a very strong duo, both new players. But it'd be, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how they actually do in the event. Because uh, it's like there's so many debutantes, by the way. There's so many debutantes in this event. So, yeah. It'd be interesting to see how all four of those do. Uh, I think Potato Pie is a low-end player because they're a bedrock player. Uh, Orbit's pretty good, and the other two are very good. So, well, let's see how that team does. And yeah, they're the teams. Pretty quickly done. Now let's go into uh, the predictions. So, we have the Google document once again. <laughs> As you can see, the averages here don't really mean much because the point values have changed recently since their break, and there's so many new players. Like, look how many new players there are. Yeah, Mustard's is completely new. Two new, two new, three new, one new, two new, four new, three new. Goodness me. But with the averages, let's just go straight into team predictions. I have put blue first. I think that team is very, very strong. I think Silver Runs is very good and will adapt to events quite well. Lackey is a very experienced Mayhem player, so I think they'll do very, very well. I think that just that, that team, I don't know about Pound Cake. I, could, I might have put Pound Cake a bit high. I think that just, this team is very strong. Second place, I have my team. Uh, I am confident in my team and my, their abilities. Like, Samuel Jordan is a very good player, obviously. FaZe hasn't had a great mania, uh, Mayhem average, but it'd be interesting. I think they will do much better this time around with this team. Mask, I think, will pop off in their debut. I think I'll finish 21st in Div because it is such a high stat roster and I'm not that great. But I do believe I'll do something in the event. I won't just, like, finish last. Third, you got Cyan. I think that the duo of Kel and Landon is just ridiculous, and I think that will... Two, two of them being the top three. That's pretty much confirmed. Um, but then I don't think Space and Anthos 
are strong enough to push that team to the top two in the finale. So we'll see about that though. It could be proved wrong. Fourth place, we have Mustard. Again, it's a strong team. I think Corners and Boostful are two very good players, but it depends where they place. Uh, I put Potato Pie quite low in the end of predictions because, again, they're a bedrock player. They're not used to Minecraft events on Java. And I put Orbits in like middle of the road and see how he does. Fifth red, I think Toph will have a really good event. Toph has a decent average if you look on the left here. Toph has a very good average. But I, I do think that Toph will have a really good event this time. Uh, just commanding that red team to fifth place. Uh, put Misty, middle of the range, Kyle, and then the other two like lower end middle. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good team regardless. I think Toph will have a, good, a really good event. Sixth Golden, I just don't think there's a standout player on gold. Obviously, Kalen is a GOAT, the GOAT himself. I put him seventh in, in my end of predictions. Um, but Ava is pretty low end. DG, I, don't know, I don't know about they, DGC. Radoon's obviously is pretty good as well. But I think they are just sixth uh, for me. Tenth, Aqua, even though uh, we have got Cloud and Morgan. Cloud will have a good event. Uh, I'm not sure about Iljo and AGX. I think they'll probably place l quite low this event. And yeah. And then 8th Lime. Again, I love them. They're the GOATs. But I just don't think that they're strong enough to compete with a really stacked roster. I mean, obviously they won Rising. But that's because, like, Lime with the, with the definition of practice makes perfect. Four amazing people practicing and working their asses off to then win MCC Rising 2. That was a practice makes perfect. But if they want to practice for this one, they could finish higher. But I don't think they will. And then we have Carter, one of my co-hosts for the MES, uh, and their predictions. They have put Pink first. Wow. <laughs> Savage third, phase fifth, Masky eighth, me thirteenth. That is, wow. That is quite the prediction. <laughs> uh, if I get, honestly, if I get top half in this event, I will... You know what? If I get top half in this in, in the upcoming Mayhem chat, I will try and do whatever the top comment says, but then obviously just do it for a reason. Second Cyan, again reasonable, but they put, put Landon and Kel first and second. I think that will be enough to boost their team to the top two. As long as you can hear Space and Anthos are not like really low end. So yeah, I th that's fair. That's reasonable. I think that's reasonable from Carla. Third, Aqua's a shout. Because he put Ildrum much higher than I have, uh, Morgan much higher, and Cloud the same level. Uh, but if, the, if these predictions do happen, like Ildred and Morgan have better events than I think they will, that team will definitely push for top half, 100%. Fourth red, reasonable, I have them fifth. Uh, they have Toph and Misty, pretty, like, yeah, that's fair enough. Toph, not as good as I predicted them to do, but a lot more well-rounded than I have them. Fifth golden, yeah, again, reasonable. Kalen, slightly higher than me. DDC, quite high as well. Redoons and a just everyone a bit little, just everyone a little bit higher than my predictions, which is again reasonable. Pick for mustard's a shout. Uh boost for I mean Kyandra's 18th is a quite a shout because they are a very good player, but then again they haven't played an event for a while. Uh, but I do have potato by higher than I do, orbit higher than I do, and boost for just lower than I do, which is fair enough, reasonable. Heaven of blue is the biggest shout. Wowzers. I mean, like, President Poundcake, they put in 30th. I don't know Poundcake's skill level, so I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, but Lackey 12th, Silver on 17th, and Luke 22nd is quite intriguing from um, Carl, but again, could happen. Uh, it's uh, pretty neat. And then 8th Lime, again, reasonable, and all of them quite low in the index. That's fair enough. All good. All good. So, that is our predictions for Minecraft Mayhem 23. You can, fa you can find uh, my stream or any of the streams on the 30th of August at 8... No, <laughs> 30th of September at 8 p.m. BST. I will see you guys then. In the meantime, we've been the MES. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.